This is a watercolor painting of the Fellows Farmhouse, and this is by New Hampshire artist Sheila Solitas. This is Carol Penn, chairman of the Windham Heritage Commission. And Carol, what are you doing here today? We are. We have a petition here today, non-binding, asking people to sign it. We will give this petition to the owner of the property. Uh, as soon as as soon as we think that we have as many signatures as we can get, to try and convince them to not demolish the building, but perhaps to reuse it for something. It can be used for light public use. We've had it evaluated, and that was that was what the uh, the Steve Bedard of Bedard Restoration told us. It could be used for light public use. It's an absolutely wonderful building. So we have a painting here today that an artist by the name of Sheila Salades did a watercolor. Her brother lives here in town. She has been going by the building for a long, long time, went by it one day and saw the demolition sign. We were so upset about it that she went home and did this watercolor. Then she called us and said that once a year she picks a, a property in a town around here somewhere, does a watercolor of it, and offers, offers it to the town or to a committee, to a society, a decommission, whatever. To sell it, she would make a ten dollar profit on each print that is sold, and we, in this case, the Heritage Commission, would be selling it for thirty dollars. So we would make twenty per print, and that can go into the heritage coffers, so to speak, to be used for other historic things in town, such as documentation of another building, which would be a wonderful thing, signage. We have a very, very small budget, so now this would give us a little bit more money to do more of the things that we would like to do. Uh, why is the Fellows Farmhouse of such great value historically? The Fellows Farmhouse, the complex, is eligible for the National Register of Historic Places as the best preserved connected farm complex in Windham. And the uh, developer has told the town that there's only a limited amount of time in which to save this building. He gave, he gave the town basically, first he had a 30-day demolition, dem, demolition delay, which is what we have here in town. Then at our public hearing, their attorney attended and said that he would give the town 120 days with which to he, the, he would sell the property for one dollar. The owner would sell the property to the town for one dollar, provided that within 120 days we could find a place to move it to. Of course, there it would cost about forty thousand dollars to move it, and then we have no place to put it. So that didn't seem to be a very good option. To this point, no one has stepped forward with the forty thousand dollars to help no, the town relocate it. No, nobody has. And of course, it was too late to put it on the town warrant. Anyway, so. Carol, thank you very much.